The news of INS Brahmaputra catching fire and toppling in harbour has surprised many. The Indian Navy warship was undergoing maintenance at the Mumbai Naval Dockyard when the incident happened. A junior sailor is reportedly missing. But what exactly went wrong? And how did the INS Brahmaputra topple? News 9 Plus decodes. The first of the indigenously built Brahmaputra class guided missile frigate INS Brahmaputra was commissioned in 2000. It is 125 meters long, displaces 5,300 tons, and has a speed of over 27 knots. If you're also surprised how a warship caught fire in harbor, we've got the answer from a firefighting and damage control specialist perspective. According to Commander Ashok Bijalwan, a ship undergoing refit is at a great risk of catching fire. Many of its systems are being repaired, which would also involve welding or gas cutting. So fires are common. Such fires can be brought under control easily if dealt in time with the right type of fire extinguisher. But once the fire grows, you have to fight it with water. This has its own issues. According to Commander Bijalwan, when you spray water on fire, water collects on the deck and adds to the ship's weight. This affects the ship's stability, so the extra water has to be pumped out and thrown overboard. In case the pumping machine doesn't work, the ship will begin to tilt under the weight of the accumulated water and after a point, it will topple over. This is what seems to have happened with INS Brahmaputra, based on the current information. Is this the first incident of its kind? Not at all. This is not the first time a Brahmaputra class frigate capsized in harbour. In December 2016, INS Betwa toppled while undocking in Mumbai. At least two were reported dead and 14 were injured. It took several weeks for the frigate to be righted. What does this say about the warship's stability? Well, it's understandable to question the ship's stability, but according to Commander Ashok Bijalwan, in warship design, stability has to be sacrificed to a certain extent to improve the ship's agility. INS Brahmaputra carries anti-aircraft guns, missiles, torpedo launchers, and a wide range of sensors. The Navy's investigation will likely look into any corrective measures needed to avoid such incidents in the future. Hopefully, INS Brahmaputra will be righted soon and be operational again after repairs and maintenance.